Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we discuss a formula about allegation of mixture. So, in our last classes, we already discussed about percentages and ratios. Please watch the classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So, we use the concepts of percentages and ratios in this example, sir. So, coming to today's class, first we try to understand what is the definition of allegation. It is the rule that enables us to find the ratio. So, allegation, it is a rule that allows us to find the enables us to find the ratio in which two or more ingredients at a given price must be mixed to produce a mixture of a desired price. Two or more items, you are taking two or more ingredients and trying to mix that items to get a desired price. That mixture should be of desired price. So anyway, with example, we are going to understand it better. So let's try to take an example. <clears throat> in what ratio must rice at 930 per kg be mixed with see one ingredient which is rice 930 per kg be mixed with rice at 1080 per kg two ingredients we need to mix these two ingredients so one item cost is 930 the other item cost is 1080 so that the mixer should be of, a de of our desired price so that the mixed the mixer be worth rupees thousand per kg the mixer should be of the cost thousand per kg that is what uh, so for that in, in order to identify the ratio at which we need to mix this how we identify that that is what the rule of allegation it enables us to identify that ratio so before going into the rule of allegation, first we will try to understand this example, deeper understanding about this example with the percentages. Because in our previous classes, we already discussed these type of examples based on percentage. Let's refresh the concept once. See, one, one rice is of cost 930 per kg, second rice item is of cost 1080 per kg. So we need to mix these two rice. The mixer should be of cost 1000. Assume that if you take 1 kg of the mixer, that mixer should be cost 1000. In that mixer, at what ratio we need to mix the ingredient 1 and ingredient 2 so that the mixer will be of cost 1000. So, in order to do that, X percentage of, we, we have to take X percentage of amount from 930 plus 100 minus X percentage of amount from 1080 this total cost should be 1000 if you solve this x by 100 multiplied by 930 plus 100 minus x by 100 multiplied by 1080 is equal to 1000 if you solve this 15x is equal to 800 x is equal to 53.33 means x means from the cheaper rice assume that this is cheap rice and this is costly rice from the cheaper rice we have to take 53 percent if you take 1 kg in that 1 kg 53 3% of the rice should be of cheaper cost and 100 minus x which is 46.66 percentage of the rice should be of from the costly rice. Then the mixer, mixer of this two will be of cost 1000 per kg. From conceptually, from the previous examples, from the percentage point of view, this is the concept. But we can do this, we can identify the ratio at which these two items can be mixed so that we will get a desired cost of 1000 very easily using the allegation rule. Let's try to understand how that allegation rule applies for our concept. Let's before going into the allegation rule, first understand price 1 means the first ingredient cost is we are assuming it as price 1 which is 930. Second ingredient cost is price 2 which is 1080. We want to mix these two ingredients to get a mixer. The mixer cost, that mixer cost we call it as a mean price. These are the terminologies we, we use in our allegation and mixer. Mean price means the mixer cost. Mean price should be 1000. So for this, the rule of allegation says if two ingredients are mixed, then apply this rule to identify the ratio at which these two ingredients should be, con uh, should be mixed so that you will get a 
cost of desired price uh, so what's this rule of allegation if two ingredients are mixed then quantity of cheaper by quantity of costly this is what the ratio says what is quantity of cheaper cost price of costly items minus mean price divided by quantity of costly is given as a mean price minus co cost price of cheaper this is the formula we have to apply you are going to get the ratio with this formula let's try to understand the same example with this uh, with this formula see cost price of cheaper cost price of costly what is the cost price of cheaper 930 what is the cost price of costly 1080 so what is the mean price which is 1000 in order to get the ratio at what ratio you want to mix it see what's the rule says cost price of costly minus mean price 1080 minus 1000 write it in the opposite side what is 80 similarly mean price minus cheaper cheaper price write it in the opposite see 1000 minus 930 which is 70 1080 minus 1000 which is 80 80 is to 70 80 by 70 that is the ratio representation in fraction form so 80 by 70 the same equation written in the diagrammatical form the same equation so 80 is to 70 this can be written as 80 is to 7 how come we say that uh, this ratio is equal to the one which we identified in the percentage 53.3 percent 46.6 percent yes from the basics of ratio what we have discussed eight parts seven parts total how many parts are there 15 parts are there out of 15 parts so eight eight should be given to the cheaper one seven should be given to the costly one so ratio converted to percentage 8 by 15 multiplied by 100 which is 53.33 is the same percentage we got 7 divided by 15 multiplied by 100 which is 46.66 so directly applying this allegation rule we will get the ratio the ratio at which we are going to mix you can easily apply it uh, why we explain with percentage and uh, this allegation rule you know if, see if, if you you may get questions in different ways uh, if you understand the overall logics and concepts uh, you can solve the questions very very easily that's why wherever there is a relation between two concepts we are going to explain we are going to combine we are going to explain so that you will understand the concepts better so this is what our allegation rule says we are going to do multiple examples in our next class hope you understand this allegation rule if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you